So let's talk client acquisition costs for home care agencies. My name is Frank. I'm the founder of Saga Pixel. We are a digital marketing firm that focuses on digital marketing for healthcare providers. And we do a lot of work with home care agencies. As a matter of fact, as far as I know, we do more work with home care agencies than any digital marketing firm in the United States. And something that I've noticed with home care agency owners is that the whole concept of a client acquisition cost often is a foreign concept. The vast majority do not know what their average customer lifetime value is. And as a result, they find it difficult to know what an acceptable client acquisition cost is. In other words, when you have a new case come in, how much is that case worth? How much revenue is it going to generate? And what are your profit margins? Once you have that number established, you can then determine how much you can afford to spend on getting a new client. Factors such as if you're focused on private pay versus uh, waiver programs obviously play a, a factor here. But the first thing I'm gonna ask you to do is to go into your records and find out the average case that comes in is worth X number of dollars. Then you need to answer the question, how much can I spend to get a new case in the door? Can you spend $500? A thousand. Can you spend two thousand dollars? Once you have that number established, you can then make an educated decision between the channels that you have at your disposal for generating these leads. A run of the mill Google Ads campaign for us will generate a cost per lead of anywhere from ninety to one hundred fifty dollars. We have some that have hit the thirties and forties, and we have some that are kind of underperforming that are in the two hundreds. But through a channel like Google Ads, you can count on being able to generate leads in the hundred to two. $200 range. And if your sales team can close one in four of those, you have a client acquisition cost of anywhere in the ballpark of like $600 to $800. And if you have a really slow or bad month, you're probably at around $1,000. Is this an acceptable number? The last Home Care Pulse report that I read about this topic uh, placed the average customer lifetime value of a home care client at around $13,000, 13 and change. Adjusting for inflation, that number is probably above 15,000 these days, and I'm sure it's different in your market. But spending $800 to bring in $15,000 of revenue, the math works. The math doesn't work at $2,500, unless you were to find that your average customer lifetime value is north of $50,000, which it very well may be. Now, a typical acquisition cost through SEO, once your campaign is working well, your website's ranking highly on Google, people are finding you, and you don't have to perpetually spend money on SEO. SEO, that cost per lead is going to end up being many orders lower than it will be for Google Ads. With those, after a mature website that's already ranking in search, we will typically see a cost per lead of anywhere from $20 to $50. I said many orders lower than Google Ads. And in those cases, you're basically printing money. So if you can get a good SEO company, hit, hit someone like us, they can get you the results that you need. SEO is a no-brainer. Now you also have channels like outdoor, like branding, billboards, radio, television. All of that can work, but it's a lot harder to predict. I will say that it's not something that you can dabble in. You need to go all in, have your billboards everywhere, run your TV ads all the time during daytime television. You have to have good creative that's gonna catch people's attention and you've got to do it for a sustained amount of time. Like SEO, it doesn't necessarily all go away once you stop. Once you've left that impression in consumers' minds, they will often remember you. Now, when you're dealing with boots on the ground sales, going to doctor's offices, hospitals, just getting, building up those referral sources, you're gonna need somebody good that can go out and do it. And your time is valuable. It's not really the best use of your time right now as you're trying to grow your home care agency. So if you are going that route, you really should be considering what the hour value is of your time, how much time you are putting into boots on the ground sales and networking and all of that, and divide that by the number of leads that you've brought in through those efforts. And there you have your client acquisition cost for that chat. I hope that this video was helpful. I would also recommend that you check out the video that we have on the three marketing strategies for home care agencies. I talk in more detail about these three channels, the branding outdoor route, the digital marketing direct response route, the boots on the ground sales route. And if you'd like to schedule a time with me or someone from my team to talk about your home care agency's marketing, go to our website and schedule a time. One.